Moon nuggets. Oh, Moon and nuggets. Okay. Um, so last night we went to see Swan Lake. Uh, by it was a different version of Swan Lake, the ballet. It was by um, not Mason Bourne. I just read a script with Mason. Someone Bourne, not Jason Bourne. That's why I'm thinking Mason. Matthew Bourne, William Bourne, Matthew Bourne. I think I should have looked that up. Anyway, new version of Swan Lake. Uh, it's at the Armisen, Los Angeles. Great show, and something very interesting happened for me uh, when I went to see it. I don't see much ballet. In fact, I haven't seen ballet since I don't know my twenties. A long, long time. I've seen dance. I love dance, but ballet just doesn't do it for me normally. Uh, but something very interesting happened to me, and I. <laughs> I probably should have thought about how to say this so I don't sound like a douchebag, um, which may be too late for that. But, okay. So this take on Swan Lake was, uh, it was a gay love story, right? So it took the original concept, which I don't really know that well, to be honest with you. But uh, it reworked it. It reworked the whole concept and made it a, uh, a gay love story. Right? And something very interesting happened to me while watching it, which is that um, I have a lot of love in my heart. I have really no malice, no hate. I hope everyone lives a happy life, finds their love, whatever, wherever you are, uh, whatever your choices of love. Not choice. <laughs> I'm already a douchebag. Whatever, whatever your natural instinct is, right? If you're straight, gay, lesbian, bi, or whatever other methods there are whatever other approaches there are um i want everyone to be happy so i don't care I really don't care but i don't think i've ever truly understood it because i can't see men in that light i just can't right so it's it's always been a rational love it's always been a rational consideration that my rational mind says to me uh you love that person that's your right. Have a happy life. I want everything you want. You have equal rights. Do whatever you need to make you happy. Right? Just what a good person should say. Even if they don't feel it, they don't truly understand it, there's nothing evil or wrong with it. So go do it. Be happy. That's how I've always felt, you know. I was brought up in theater. Uh, my godfather, uh, Francis, a lovely man, was gay. Just massive portion of my life has been filled with gay people so that's just my entire culture has always been completely accepting as it should be obviously completely accepting and 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 respectful towards it right but i never truly felt it i didn't really understand i couldn't get the concept of gay love i just couldn't you know just being honest with you i couldn't um but then we went to see this swan lake last night and there is this final this moment happened to me. There's this final tableau, this final image, where the prince and if you know Swan Lake, I apologise if I'm butchering who the characters are. But this, you know, the final image is of the prince who falls in love with this swan, uh, this male, this this man during the show. Um, but it's a fantasy. He dies at the end, and the final image. This is spoiler alert. The final image is of the princess or the or the queen coming in checking his body he's died and then above him there's an image of him being held by this swan in the afterlife um and i just got it i felt like i welled up oh my god i got i'm thinking about it now i got goosebumps i just so connected with the moment i saw the purity of love. It was the most extraordinary thing. It was like a breakthrough. It was like, oh, I get it. Oh, fuck, I get it. And I just, I couldn't help but think, why haven't I felt this for the last 50 years of my life? Why have I, why has it taken this long to get to the point where I understand the simplicity of love, where I understand that that love is that the gender is completely irrelevant. You know, it, it may be that our our physical, our biological norm, for want of a better word, is male, female. But our spiritual love is irrelevant, right? You can love anyone. Um, and I just saw it. And 
Matthew Bourne, I think it's Matthew Bourne. Matthew Bourne's production, although I actually think it's just a version of Matthew Bourne's, but whatever, the people who put this production on, they'll never know that they did that for me. They'll never know that someone in the audience, I think they probably hope that people in the audience enjoyed the show and, and, and saw a beautiful image and went, oh, what a great love story. But I don't know if they know that someone who was watching it had a breakthrough and a realization. Now, I'm not like, you know, I'm not a homophobe. So I'm not a homophobe who's suddenly transformed into this, uh, into this social justice man, you know. But, um, but that breakthrough was an extraordinary moment for me to finally understand uh, that love breaks all of those boundaries, that you don't have to be rational to understand someone else's love. It was extraordinary. God, I'm butchering this. But I had to get it down because it, it was a moment that I want to look back and remember. And like, this is the moment you went from understanding it rationally to understand it, understanding it emotionally. And that's what happened last night. I understood love at a much more deeper level last night because I was just, I, I loved them so much, what those two went through at the end. I loved that image. I understand the purity of it. And uh, it was just fucking beautiful. Anyway, go see it. We got half price tickets for 60 bucks. Oh, so go see it. It's two hours. It was wonderful. All right, have a good day, Nuggets. Bye.